Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nancy. And we have a new die release from Spellbinders. This is for Halloween and this is called Let's Be Frank. And you get the dies to make Frankenstein's head here. And we get the dies to make this little witch with her fancy stockings and boots. So let me show you what the dies are for Frankenstein. You get his full head and you get his forehead, which can be layered and popped up. You get his wonderful hairline. You get the bolts that go in his neck and then you get his eyeballs. Okay, and we're gonna be putting him together today. And then for the witch, you get quite a few pieces. You get the witch's hat, which is a really nice size hat. You get two styles of stockings and boots. Now you don't have to use um, the mismatch. I did because you can cut the stockings and do the same stockings and just change the boot over. So you don't have to do that. This is the buckle that goes on the hat as well as the patch. So the outside becomes the buckle for her hat. The inside becomes the patch. Then we have the smaller buckle, which is for her shoes. See there. Okay, and then this is the sash that goes around her hat. Okay, so very easy to put together, a lot of fun. You just wanna die cut it out of different colors. I used a stencil that I have in my collection and a couple of little plastic bats to finish this off. The sentiment is from Impression Obsession. Um, it is C14306 from Impression Obsession for the sentiment. It says, may all your Halloween witches come true. And the die set is Let's Be Frank from Spellbinders. Again, you get both of the dies. The die is S41138, so I will put that in the description below for you. But let's get to putting together the Frankenstein. That was really easy to do. Doesn't take much time at all. So let me put the witch dies back away here. All right, so I'm just going to start with a piece of pattern card stock. You can pull any kind of pattern paper out of your stash. This one, I think, is a Martha Stewart Halloween paper pack from Michaels or something like that. And I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter by four. And you can see it has some spiders and spider webs already on it. The other one I used was just a plain background and I put it through a spider embossing folder. So this one's already ready to go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out some of his pieces here. And I just used some scrap paper out of my little scrap box here. So for example, here's a dark uh, gray. We can use that for his hair. I'm not going to cut out his eyeballs at this time. I'm gonna show you how we use some googly eyes for that. Let me bring those in. And then we just need some green for his face. And I use a little piece of extra metallic for the bolts. Just use this darker piece of green. All right, so let's run all of these pieces through my die cutting machine. Okay, so we've die cut everything. Poke them all through. Now, I do want to keep the inside of his mouth here. I'm going to color that in and reuse that. Okay. 
And again, there are little white eyeballs you can die cut if you want, but I think he just looks so much cuter with the um, googly eyes. All right, so I'm just cutting a piece of foam tape. I'm going to pop his forehead up here. I didn't do that on the other one. And we're going to glue hair. And we're going to remove this foam piece. Okay, and then we have his two little um, bolts. And then for his eyes, I have these little googly eyes. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue where they would go. And I have this little jewel picker to pick them up and put them in place. I think they finish him off perfectly. Okay, and then for his mouth here, this little piece was die cut out. I'm just going to put a little red on that. Just taking a marker. Of course, you could um, cut that out of a different color. You can color, cut it out of white and color it in red. Then I'm going to pick that up and put that back into place. Right there. And I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the back of that. tape okay so now he's all put together he has a little round a little red mouth there and all we have to do is assemble everything so I have a black card base sentiments I brought in were from my stash. They are from my favorite things. And the one that I used was You're My Favorite Creeper. 
But I think I like this one. I can't even. I'm literally dead. So I think I'll use that one. And I just stamp that on some orange cardstock here. Cut up the center and then from the corner to the center and that gives us a fishtail banner. And then we're just gonna assemble all of this. A little piece of tape on there I missed. I'm gonna take my exacto knife and cut that right off. Got it. Okay, and there we have our two Frankenstein cards. Very easy to assemble. You literally just cut them out and glue them together. Lots of fun. You can go check these out at Spellbinders. I'll put the link down below for you guys. Let me know which one you like better. Do you like the lime green Frankenstein or the dark green Frankenstein? Look at how cute they are. And then, of course, we have the little witch's hat and boots. The um, dies are called Let's Be Frank. They're from Spellbinders. Again, I'll put the links down below for you guys. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye, guys.